सरस्वतीवाजेर्वाजिनीवती थीनामित्रियवत आनो दिव बृहत पर्वता सरस्वतीयता गंतु यज्ञ नम सुप्रभात Yesterday we were contemplating on one particular sutra about Kriya Yoga. The Kriya Yoga involves three steps. Tapas, Vadhyaya, Ishvara, Pranidhanani, Kriya Yoga. This is the complete, a practical module. one's own can adapt in day to day life practice further patanjali explains what are the benefits or what is the benefit of practicing kriya yoga why one need to practice kriya yoga what is the aim behind practicing purity tapas understanding the scriptures swadhyaya and as well the overcoming the ego surrender in sharanagati it is ishvara pranidhana he says kleshas as well as the samadhi are connected here samadhi bhavana artha klesha tanu karana artha cha the practice of kriya yoga leads to samadhi bhavana artha samadhi is the bhavana when you attain the different phases of the samadhi you will have different kinds of experiences how by reducing the intensity of the kleshas kleshas means pains klesha tanu karana artha cha using the tapas swadhyaya ishvara pranidhana one can reduce the intensity of the pains or the miseries and at last he can overcome all the miseries and in perspective of any situations he is absolutely in the state of blissful awareness samadhi bhavana artha so one must practice this total complete practicing module for two reasons to achieve the samadhi and also to reduce the intensity of the pains or the kleshas having understood this concept patanjali says kleshas means pains have different nature but for different miseries different sufferings various kinds of dukkha that is only one base there is only one base out of which everything arises so that is avidya kshetra muttaresham prasupta tanu vichinna udarana beautifully has summed up the nature of the kleshas or the pains which will express themselves in different situations at the different intensities so avidya kshetram avidya or the ignorance or the nescience is the base that is the base because of that everything comes out the avidya or the ignorance or wrong perception or wrong understanding and most of the time we will be euphoric on our own imaginations so this is the base where it will give further consequences named as asmita raga dvesha abhinivesha so all these four consequences the ego attachment hatredness as well as fear complex or having the base of what avidya or the ignorance avidya kshetram uttaresham avidya kshetram uttaresham 
the further are the result out of which the ignorance. So here the kleshas or the different kinds of miseries are expressed in different situations at the different intensities I said. What are those different intensities? Prasupta, Tanu, Vichinna, Udharana. Prasupta is a dormant state, a sleeping state. They are not expressed at all. They are hidden at the subtler level. But we don't know that it is hidden. Most of the time we think ourselves I am so free man, I don't have any ego, I am so humble. We think ourselves, but it will be expressed, that ego will be expressed when the situation arises. And most of the thing, what we have understood ourselves, it will be wrong. So, any desire, any knowledge what we have understood, it may not be complete. So it is prasupta. This prasupta kinds of desires are the pains or the ignorance or the vasanas or the desires. They are not expressed, they are hidden. Okay. That doesn't mean that you don't have the desires, it has. It will be expressed when the situation comes. This is one level of pain or the miseries or the ignorance. Most of the problem comes out of our own wrong perception or wrong understanding or wrong behaviors, we know. Simply, if you take the games, what we have created thousands of games in the world, God has not created even a single game. We have created the games and we make two parties, favorable, non-favorable, Okay? And we play the games and umpire will give the decisions and at last one team will be winning and others will be suffering. So who is responsible for suffering? Then straight away we claim God is responsible for all our problems. So 99% of all our problems are created by ourselves. No one creates. Uddhared Atmanatmanam Atmanam Avasadayet. If you grow, if you prosper, you are responsible. If you collapse, you are responsible. But most of the time, we make the third situation, the third person or the third incident make responsible like they are responsible. They are responsible for my problems. It's not like that. Prasupta, wherever the desires or the ignorance is hidden, it will not expressed at all, dormant. Then what we have to do? To bring it up. That's why all the yoga master says meditate. Because meditation will bring all those settled desires to, to the surface level of the mental plane will come up. Continuously it comes up, comes up. The more you intensely practice, the more desires will come up. And just by meditation you can remove everything. Instead of undergoing lot of pains and pleasure, the Sakshi Bhava witnessing at the meditative state can remove all these hidden suppressed desires. That's why one should practice Kriya Yoga very intensively. By this, the hidden or sleeping or dormant desires will come to the surface level. Like you throw a big stone in the water, whatever the dirtiness is accumulated, settled down in the lake or the pond, it will come up. Similarly, meditation is the state where you can bring them all to the state of mental plane. So, second stage of these desires are tanu. Tanu means thinning process. Okay? They don't have any power at all. 
all these desires will be very weak because your mind becomes very strong and these desires will become tanu tanu means slowly say example your body is so stiff okay can't go for pada hastasana you can't stretch the body in the paschimottanasana very much stiff but what we can do if you slowly slowly stop uh, practicing day by day 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 the whole body becomes more flexible it is like the stiffness becomes completely start vanishing <coughs> okay so tanu where one practices intensively the desires becomes very less intensive that's why patanjali says the practice of anything must be followed and it will be followed by three stages again even practice level also mrudu madhya adhimatrah tatah api visheshah mrudu madhya adhimatra some people are there mrudu means their effort is so big hopeless effort okay sometimes we have seen while practicing the classes asanas or pranayama or anything their effort is so weak that sometime the instructor may get angry to slap because there is no effort at all if you ask them to practice any weak person to pranayama kapalabhati as if he is dead he is and most of our students also in the classroom situation okay livingly but dead no energy at all okay jeevanta shava most of the time why no intensity it is mrudu mrudu ma means it is most tamasic approach approach like a donkey approach hmm? so mrudu is the most least effort which one puts second is adhimatra little dynamic people rajasic people more energetic people they have lot of anxiety to achieve something very quickly so this is the mrudu and mrudu and the madhya madhya is the middle stage a moderate practice here mrudu madhya and the third one is the adhimatra adhimatra is highly intensive 100% effort no question of slagging at all no delay no dila okay so that is the 100% effort one puts some students very strong desire having to achieve some of the posture advanced posture and they continuously practice the same posture for months together it is adhimatra prayatna okay so our abhyasa our practice in our own the group it can be classified according to tamasic rajasic as well as sattvic approach whoever puts sattvic approach for him the desires which are hidden they come to the tanu level tanu means things there is no intensity no strong desire even though they are in the negative atmosphere they will not be so strong to involve themselves slowly it becomes thinning process and the third is confused state like all of, all of us we are always confused vichinna the desires are the impressions or our knowledge what we have understood it is always confusing state vichinna like raga and the dvesha you take attachment and hatredness if you have strong attachment raga that means you are hating something very strongly if you are hating something very strongly okay then there is no raga of the attachment this is the way raga and the dvesha are coming up and down up and down up and down up and down sometimes you feel that very strongly that it is perfect and sometimes you become hopeless this is the way vichinna our own knowledge gives lot of confusion like all our yoga practitioners 
goes through different yoga streams or yoga systems of practice and they will be confused what to practice, whether this is right or that is right. Whether that yoga is great, this yoga is great. Confusing state, samshaya. One of the biggest obstacles for yoga sadhana. So, the desires or the understanding of your knowledge, it is most of the time confusing state. It is called vichinna. And if it becomes little further enhanced, this stage becomes further enhanced, then it comes to udara, absolutely expressed. Means a foolish fellow always proves himself that I am a foolish. With his behaviors, with his speech, okay, with his attitude, even though everyone teases, everyone recognizes as a fool, but still he will not understand I am, I am not a fool. It is always he expresses and he proves himself as a foolish fellow. Le udara. So this is the way ignorance or the avidya has four stages. But still all these are still existing. Whether it is the dormant state or it is the very attaining state or it is confusing state or it is completely expressed one and the same, no difference. But being a sadhaka, one must understand these intensities of my own avidya or the ignorance and I have to overcome. So how to overcome? Kleshatanu karanarthascha samadhi bhavanartha. So samadhi bhavanartha. This samadhi must be achieved by completely vanishing all the kleshas. This is the result of practicing Kriya Yoga. Klesha Tanu Karanarthascha Samadhi Bhavanartha And this Samadhi will have different phases of experiences named by Patanjali Vitarka, Vichara, Ananda, Asmita, Rupa, Nagamad, Samprajnataha Then it goes to Asamprajnata Samadhi Then it will go to Dharma Mega Samadhi Then it is the Nirvikalpa Samadhi This is the way different phases of Samadhis our higher experiences, our human excellence is explained in further sutras. Let us contemplate in the next session. Thank you very much. Let us conclude the session with Shanti Mantra. Rap Namaskar Mantra. Om Asatoma Satgamaya Tamasoma Yeah.